is with no trouble at all, and this gap has really come down. One to one and a half seconds, I would guess, will get confirmation of that in a minute, but as they go into the uphill right-hander for the last time. Now, there is the gap, 1.589 seconds, so it's come down three seconds in one lap. This is the final lap, and Nigel Mansell now has the psychological advantage of being able to see just in front of him, tantalising him. On this final lap, Mansell, who has come from fifth to lead this race, who's dropped back to third, who's made a pit stop for fresh tyres, who's come out again, past Alain Prost for second, is now on the tracks of Ayrton Senna for the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix on this final lap, and he's closer, closer all the time. It's about four lengths or five lengths as they come through those sweeping corners on that back section. And it's under braking that Mansell seems to have much more stability on his fresh rubber, and he really closes up on the black and gold lotus as they slow down. Senna working away in the cockpit. This is a tremendous final lap as they come behind the pits, through that back section, down now under braking once more through that fast right-hand flick that the, leads to the tighter right-hander. Now they come down to this hairpin, watching Mansell closes up under braking. He does. He's right there with them. The chicken flag is waiting. It's now the dash for the line. Can Mansell get alongside? He goes one side. There he goes on the inside, and then side by side over the line. The checkered flag waves, and I simply could not see what happened there. I can't tell you if Ayrton Senna is the winner or if Nigel Mansell is, but now the computer tells us 14 thousandths of a second is the gap between the winner. Ayrton Senna and the second place man, Nigel Mansell.